I believe uh, for city count that concludes city council members. Uh, I'd like to move on to uh, school board members. Um, Deborah Bell, District 7. <laughs> I don't know Deborah Bell, apparently. Um, Deborah Bell's not here, my dad. Uh, Kelly Wilson is here, I believe. She said she was going to be here. No, Kelly Wilson is not here. Edward Mack. He's sick. He's about not feeling well. Okay, Stacy Bush is here right now. Thank you, Tom. Good evening. Good evening. Try that again. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, thank you to the Lowndes County Democratic Party for uh, having me. Uh, I, uh, as well, am experiencing my first campaign. So I'm learning, and uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, I also want to add my thanks to the other candidates in the room. I've uh, served on many nonprofit boards over the last several years. This is my first time in true public service. But to serve in the capacity that many of the people in this room are choosing to do, it says a lot for their character. It's not easy to give up your time, your energy, uh, and I would add your resources sometimes as well, and sacrifice to be able to represent and serve your community. So uh, thank you for choosing to give. Thank you for choosing to serve. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a, a product of public education. Uh, I grew up in pu public education. Uh, graduated from a public uh, institution, high school. And so it's an absolute um, joy for me to potentially be able to give back and to be able to give back to public education after uh, myself being a product of the actual uh, institution I want to serve. A um, few things a little bit about uh, myself, the reason why I think I would potentially be a good candidate for the uh, Board of Education at large seat is I have uh, four kids and they're currently all in the system. Uh, my oldest boy is a 9-11-01 baby. So he was born the day the towers fell. Uh, yes, he turned uh, 14 on Friday. And so he's at the middle school. And then my twin boys are also in the middle school. They're in sixth grade. And uh, then my daughter is uh, at Salas Mahone. And so I have four kids. So I have a, a vested interest in the system and a vested interest uh, in, in my kids and all kids. Uh, I really think it's appropriate to uh, understand as a Board of Education representative, exactly what teachers go through. I ate lunch every Monday at Salas Mahone. I have for the last eight years with my kids. And uh, I talked to the teachers, I walked down the aisle, I talked to the principal, I talked to the vice principal, they're very good friends. We have great relationships. And it boils down to sometimes they feel bogged down by bureaucracy. Uh, and many of you that may be working in education understand that. So I think it's appropriate to empower our teachers to do their very best in the classroom. And uh, as a potential Board of Education member, it would be uh, my pleasure to equip teachers with the tools that they would need in order to serve our kids better. Uh, thirdly, uh, I think it's appropriate for our city school system to be fiscally responsible. Um, of course, we're being a Title I school. We've had extra dollars that the county school system does not have. And we've got to make good decisions. Certainly, we've allocated a tremendous amount of money to the new high school, which is a big deal. But we've got to continue to be a good steward of the dollars that our taxpayers are sending to our school system so that we can have a strong surplus year in and year out. Um, you know, I'm not speaking uh, anything prophetic, I don't think, but Title I money may not be there forever. And we've got to make the right decisions so that we have a strong budget going forward. I specifically feel like I'm qualified in this capacity because that's my day-to-day -day life. Uh, I run a financial planning practice and work with families here in our community every day to make good, solid financial decisions so that they can have their balance sheet strong and provide for their families and the next generation. I, the reason why I chose the profession I'm in, I, I uh, you know, like uh, Pastor McCray said earlier, I, I was raised on a peanut farm, um, and it's the, seven, the 77 drought and the 79 drought uh, affected us to the degree that my family filed for bankruptcy. And so out of that, I decided that 
being a good steward financially was the appropriate thing to do, and that's why I chose to enter the financial planning practice. And I think that would particularly be uh, advantageous uh, on the Board of Education. Lastly, and most importantly, I'll say, I think it's appropriate to understand that it's about the kids. It, it really is about the kids. Uh, we have a lot of children in our city that are underserved, that do not get the appropriate attention that they frankly deserve. And uh, one of my uh, desires, and I've met with several people in the community on this already, is to understand exactly uh, what it takes to get a child in the system up and running very quickly. Um, you know, we, we've got a Head Start program here in our community that doesn't necessarily communicate effectively to the next level of education. And one thing I think that would be appropriate is to get the kids that are not functioning properly on their feet and have a good foundation to build that foundation. Uh, as many of the candidates that are going to be serving in more business capacities have already mentioned here, uh, unless our kids have a solid foundation and can grow, it's no secret that our community struggles with this in order to have an educated population. We've got to have a strong foundation so that our kids can build, have a quality community that businesses thrive and that where uh, people want to raise their families. So uh, my name is Stacy Bush and I appreciate your vote for Balance the City Board of Education at large city. Thank you.